Hey Scott from Scott Reviews, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Give you guys a second, click, like, subscribe, all that stuff real quick, and then we'll get back to what we're talking about, and that is the Pocket 3. I filmed the last video on the ZVE1. I wanted to get more of a shot of just some B-roll shots, cinematic looking stuff with, with that camera, to get a feel for what it really can do. And then someone at, in the comments said, why don't you use the Pocket 3? And I was like, you know, it's a great idea. I have the Pocket 3. Let me go back and kind of mimic some of the shots I got from last time and see what they look like. And, well, I'll let you watch here in a second afterwards. I did make the video just on the Pocket 3, and I went back and, and grabbed some of the clips of the ZVE1 and dumped them in there. Just so you have a quick comparison so you don't have to go back and watch the whole other video again to see which one you like better. I am so impressed with the Pocket 3 of what it can do. Cinematic panning, walking down streets, all that kind of stuff. This guy is really made for that. Being on a gimbal and so small and pocketable that with that one inch sensor it really kind of puts that final touch on it where you got that blurred background a little bit. Uh, and that really makes it look like a more professional style of camera. I'm looking to probably sell the ZVE1 because it's such a it's such a great tool that I'm not using to its full potential. I have a Sony A7R5. This is my main camera and this will be my, my B camera, but I don't use it enough to justify the cost of having it in my kit. Watch the video. Let me know what you think of the Pocket 3 footage versus the ZVE1 footage. And the ZVE1 may not be a necessity to have in your kit. Maybe something like this would be easier to get better, smoother shots. Even though this has dynamic stabilization, which is a first in any Sony camera, it's really good, but it still can't beat a gimbal. It's still not GoPro style of stabilization, something like that, or an Action 4. It all depends on your use case and what you use stuff for. But I'll let you look at the video. Thanks, and we'll see you later on. Fighting the cold here, you can kind of get tell with the face. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm Don't close your eyes. Wait until the night is over. I'll show you paradise, but hang on just a little.